Hello again. Well, in my last video, I promised to make a homemade gramophone to go with the uh, HMV adapter that I 3D printed. And this adapter, you may have seen, allows my homemade sound boxes and also um, sound boxes that have the sort of HMV fit uh, or Victor fit um, to be fitted um, to basically uh, plastic piping and this is a 21 and a half millimeter plastic piping which is uh, easily available in the UK. Now I did try and uh, use heat to bend a piece of the pipe but basically because I've got no effective way of supporting the inside it just crinkled up and I thought it would probably do that. So um, what I'm going to do instead for that part is uh, use some straight bits which have got um, angles cut in them. So um, Effectively, it's going to be more like that. And this is basically for holding the horn. And um, you may have seen some considerable time ago, I made a video um, where I used uh, an air horn to actually um, turn a record player into a very crude gramophone. Now, this bit just comes off actually, and so what I've done is I've actually 3D printed a little adapter that goes on there, and that will fit in like that, and so um, I'll be able to use that as the, uh, the horn for this. But I've now done all the sawing and all the sanding and now it's time to put it all together. Okay well it's all together now so what have we got? Well the construction is um, the 21.5mm plastic piping um, that's the adapter that I made uh, last time round. Now I've used a lot of these uh, angle joints so these are basically uh, just uh, right angled joints for joining the piping together. These ones are from B&Q. Um, I've used uh, ones from B&Q and Homebase, which are two DIY stores found in the UK. Um, now I've attached the piping here um, to the hinge, which I'm using using a piece of wood and some tape. I've used a lot of this um, masking tape. Um, now I could have used something like this. Um, these are uh, brackets which are also available from uh, being cured as it happens, um, but um, I just used an existing piece of wood and just taped it on. Now where I have connected um, the right angle bits together, there are actually little segments of um, piping actually inside so um, they're not just uh, they're not just taped together um, they actually have uh, bits of piping inside like that uh, as well as for the, uh, the actual horn arrangement obviously the air horn um, there's the adapter that I've 3d printed and then just some bits which I cut at angles and just literally taped together uh, I did try um, hot gluing them together, but it didn't work very well. And um, I've used some lead at the back. And this lead is actually some old plumber's um, solder, which um, if you go to a place like car boot cells and the like, you can find fairly easily. Um, but any sort of weight um, that you can find like old fishing weights um, anything really that uh, can basically just counteract um, the the weight of the arm a little bit um, helps for situations like this and I've mounted it all on this uh, sort of block of wood and vice and that's basically because uh, when you're holding anything like this um, it really helps if you can just sort of adjust the angles of stuff so if I put a sound box on now this is the um, homemade one that I've made in the previous video or previous videos. Just put that on there, twist it into position and I can actually check that it's in the right position so that the needle uh, matches up with the middle. So 
we'll give that a quick go. And then I can quickly change that over. This one here is a little um, songster one off some random portable gramophone. That goes on just the same. Right, and there we go. That's it all assembled. I ought to mention that, of course, I'm using this old record player, it's an old ion uh, turntable um, as the uh, turntable for this homemade gramophone. Now it's one of the reasons that I've got the weight on the end of the arm here because actually it's not a very powerful motor and um, too much weight uh, via the needle just causes the, uh, the record player to stall. Now recently I've been concentrating more on getting the sound boxes to work better and sound better um, but in future um, I do hope to spend some time making some DIY turntables uh, to go with the uh, sound boxes and the DIY tone arms and horns that I've also been um, playing with. Okay well I've got the camera mounted at the other end of the workbench now and I'm going to do my usual uh, test using uh, a couple of sound boxes. So we'll start off with this uh, little Sunkster one. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff.